welcome back to the videos it's wonderful to have you here as always um, thank you for all the support and messages on the last video about the metal and the oil in this thing um, not too sure what's going on yet I have a couple of ideas um, I did order a uh, oil test kit um, but it hasn't arrived yet so I don't know if I'm going to bother with that as of yet um, I do have a new oil filter today so that's the job today I'm going to get the oil filter off it um, cut it open and uh, just have a look and see what's going on um, so yeah thank you everyone who's been ordering the stickers um, I really appreciate it you guys are awesome um, another thing is I now have a shirt so link in the description for the, the website now has two shirt designs listed um, so I'm really happy with the way the shirts have turned out. We've got this one, which just has Corn Fed Boost logo on the front. Um, just a black tee. They have various different sizes for these, from small to 3XL. Um, and these ones, with just this on the front, are going to be about 30 bucks. But the ones the commemorative ones with uh, ethyl on the back like these these are a bit more expensive at about 50 bucks because the design and all the printing costs shitloads more to have printed on the t-shirt hopefully you guys like it I'm really happy with the way they turned out um, I'm really happy to actually have my own shirt I think it's really cool I think the designs turned out pretty good. The quality of the tees isn't too bad either. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, they're not too tight of a fit. Yeah. I'm happy with the tees. Um, I'm really happy to finally actually have my own piece of clothing out. If you had asked me five years ago if, yeah, if I ever thought that I would have some sort of YouTube channel in clothing I would have told you you're a bloody idiot and why the hell would I ever make something like that where I can barely talk to people in person let alone on a video um, but yeah I just thought I'd let you guys know that and show you guys off the shirts again I'm pretty happy with this one's a large um, it is a little snug fitting but down the bottom it's actually not too bad nice length again it's a t-shirt it fits. I'd really want to get some hats, but I don't really know anyone that's printing. The 50 bucks for these is a bit expensive. Um, I was hoping to sort of keep them around the $30 mark, but I didn't realize it was going to cost so much. So these ones with ethyl on the back, commemorating the 750 plus horsepower it made on the dyno, I will probably only do a limited run of. Um, again, both shirts just the the front printed and the the commemorative ones all come in sizes from small to 3xl and i'm going to be doing them in batches of 20. so if you guys want to get one of these shirts it's going to have to be sort of a group effort to get one um, you guys are all going to sort of have to work together to put your orders in in batches i mean if it gets to like it's somewhere between 15 and 20 I'll probably put the order through anyway um, depending on how long it takes to get there etc just so that those that do order the teas and want one will actually get them um, and then I'll ship them out from there it takes a, a week or so to get them made and shipped to me and then wherever else long to ship them to you guys uh, but yeah anyway that's enough ranting and raving bullshit from me about merch um, I'm gonna hopefully get this oil filter off without needing a jack, but I get the feeling I'm gonna need to get a jack, get it under it, and uh, get this oil filter off so we can cut it apart. 
I'll come back to you guys once I've got the filter off. Get this bad boy on there. Oh, look at that, pre oiled. Sick. I think I might go and cut this open and just cut back once I got it open. The hacksaw probably isn't the right way to do it. But uh, that's all I got at the moment. So it's gonna have to do. I'm not interested in what's on top of the filter. I am interested in what's in the filter. So I should be able to Now the fun part. There's lots of that um, sort of metallic-y stuff. Like there's a bit, bit of a chunk or something there. There's a few bits of chunks like that. I'm not seeing any brass, copper, any sort of stuff like that. It looks exactly the same as what it did last oil change I did and last oil filter I pulled apart. Like that there. That speck of shit's a bit concerning. Bit of a speck of shit there that I don't know about. Yeah, again, just flakes of this sort of silvery substance. I know what that is. So that's silicon, so I'm not worried about that bit. Um, yeah, it looks like another bit of silicon. Not, not really seeing much of any metal in there. There's a bit. So these two here, there's a couple of chunks there and there. They're a bit concerning. Nice big bit there. What is that? So that's a nice hunk hunk of aluminium or something there. That's probably the most alarming piece of anything I've found so far. Yeah, another big hunk of silicon there. Another nice shiny bit of aluminium. 
I mean, I don't know, I don't cut very many oil filters open, so I don't really know what's normal. Like, there's a lot of what looks like dirt or debris or something in there. Lots of silicon. Looks like I might have to send that oil analysis away anyway, just to be sure. There's a hunk of dirt or something there. Uh, there's some coppery brass stuff. Very fine speck of brass or something or copper in there. So this has only just confused me more. So where is all that fine metallic flake coming from? Is it going to stop? Is it going to get worse? I was rudely interrupted by the camera battery dying. So, I haven't really found anything else in this thing. I don't really know what to do. I don't think it's a spun bearing. I know what a spun bearing looks like. I think, if anything, one may have touched a couple of times. But I'm not sure. So it looks like I'm going to have to send away that oil analysis. Just to be sure. I mean, there's a few specks of shit in here. That flake in the oil is probably the most concerning part for me. Um, a couple of bits of brass or copper, whatever they are, I'm not too worried about yet, I guess. It's not crazy. It could just be a cam bearing. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like it's anything too sinister well at least yet anyway Let's see if I can get some sun on this bad boy lots of dirt, lots of fine metal I think maybe a lifter is wiping itself out because I mean like it looks like a really fine metallic paste. It could be the cam. There is some fine coppery, bronzish... I'm gonna say copper. It looks like copper. Some fine coppery stuff in there. But there's only like one tiny flake here. One tiny flake there. Like, it's not spun bearing bad. So I'm confused. Um, I don't really know what to do. Maybe what I heard was a lifter dying, in which case, be time for a new set of lifters, I guess. Maybe look at the cam. I was a bit sus on the cam. It did have some pitting and stuff from from sitting for so long. So maybe that's all this metallic flake I'm seeing. So maybe it's time to pull the cam out and have a look. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much where I'm going to leave it in this video. I don't really have anything else to film at the moment because I'm too busy stressing out about this. So throw a comment down below what you guys think it is. Um, hopefully it's nothing bad. 
again I know what a spun bearing looks like it doesn't look like a spun bearing to me um, I know these things are notorious for wiping out cam bearings so I reckon that's probably what it is I'm hoping that's what it is as well as the lifters fucking dying and that's sort of what it sounded like to me so I guess maybe next step will be uh, pull the rad out turbo kit off slide the cam out pull all the lifters and rockers and all the rest of it inspect them for wear and damage replace damaged or both of them um, maybe pull it out pull the pan off and inspect the bearings don't know if I want to go that far but I don't want to not do it and have it wipe one out because I am planning on pushing this thing further than what it already has been so yeah sorry I don't have anything more interesting for you guys as far as video is concerned I hope you guys like the shirts I think what I'll do for the first 20 orders I'll throw in a free uh, corn fed boost sticker um, so if you want to grab a shirt go ahead and get at it I'm great I'll throw you guys a sticker in your orders for the first 20 um, and yeah that's gonna be it from me in this video I got nothing else to film until I know what's going on with this I'll send that oil analysis away just to confirm what I do or don't know or suspect and uh, yeah I'll go from there next next video will probably be a rundown of that and hopefully tearing into it and starting to pull some stuff apart diagnose exactly what's going on so again thank you all for watching please leave a like comment down below in the description and subscribe if you're new to the channel and apart from that I will see you guys in the next video bye